Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to go through all the details of the quest, the Seas Legend and how you can get Manaphy and Fiona in your copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think out of all the requests, this is probably my all-time favourite one. It is very fun to do, the reward is great and there is a lot of lore behind it. So hopefully if you're getting to this point in your game, your playthrough or you haven't done it yet, this guide is going to be really helpful for obtaining the Pokemon involved in this quest and to complete. It. Now this kicks off after you quell Hisu and Arcanine and you head back to Jubilee Village. You can go to Professor Lavington's blackboard and on the blackboard there'll be this new request. And when you click into the request it'll kind of initiate a cutscene with Professor Lavington where he talks about a Pokemon that he saw when he was strolling along the beach. And then Iskan will appear and he can't really provide much information but it all indicates towards things going on in Colbert coastlines. But the interesting thing about this request is it actually has a throwback to another game where the clues are with how to complete this. You can see the request here when you do open it up in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's say the Seas Legend requested by Lavington, the Pokemon that the Professor Lavington saw in the ocean might be connected to the Pokemon that appears in the Seas Legend. Current objective, solve the mystery of the Seas Legend and catch the Pokemon that the Professor Lavington saw. So, like I say, it links back to another game, which is really cool. So if we hop over into our game now, okay, another game is not required to do this task. It's just the information is in the other game. And it's all in Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. Ooh, that took a long time to load. What I'm referring to is in Canalav City. So, like I say, you don't need the game to do this request quest in Pokemon Legends Arceus just information giving you clues with how this request is done is based in Canalav City in Pauline Diamond Shen and Pearl which I find really cool so if you come up to the library here and you come to the the first floor and we go to this bookshelf here it's titled The Seas Legend, which is all about the request that we're talking about. Obviously, time travel with Legends Arceus kind of marries up everything in this Sinnoh to what we know as Hisui. The book's titled The Sea of Legends. It's a text that was only di uh, recently discovered and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Yes. Once upon a time, a East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as a Prince. A brave human as Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Would you like to keep reading? Yes. A Mantike, Weasel and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledge the human's bravery and join them. Together they set off in a boat over the sunset, streaked sea sailing through the ocean's gate stretched over the waves. Would you like to keep reading? Yes. News of this reached the ears of the prince who went to meet the brave little party at the seaside hollow. And that's it. All the hints are there with how you do this request. So what we need to do is go back into our Legends Arceus game. We need Buizel, Mantike and a Quillfish with long spikes, which we're assuming at this point is going to be Hussinian Quillfish because we know it does uh, it does evolve into uh, Overquill, doesn't it? So Weasel in our party, Mantike in our party, and we're gonna need where are you? Overquill, Overquill is here. And if you're wondering how to get Overquill, I have covered it uh, already on the channel. All the evolution of the new Pokemon that we got available to us okay now we've got the pokemon in our party we want to make our way over to the cobalt coastland so we're going to head just over there right now and we want to make our way to the sea's gate the, the book mentioned the sea's gate so that would be the two prongs sticking out of the sea at sands reach so we want to make our way over to the coastland camp because the next thing that we do is the sun lit sea wasn't it the sun kissed sea which refers to you're presuming the evening so we want to change the day to the evening and then we'll be able to hopefully have everything in place now with the pokemon in our party we've got the overquill the buizel the mantike we've turned it to the evening so sun's kind of setting and then we want to make our way through the sea's gate which i'm presuming will initiate this stage of the game okay so we want to come through the sea's gate 
And when we do, fuel. You heard something that sounded like a cry and boulder shifting in the distance. And then you can see the request kind of message popping up the C's legend in the top right hand corner. So you'd imagine at this point, the boulder shifting would be the C hollow cave and the boulder moving would be the Pokemon now being accessible in that area. So we just need to make our way around this coastline here and we'll be able to find the C's hollow cave system, which we'll be able to go into and I'm presuming that Manaphy and Fione will be in there. And as we just come around this corner here, you can see on the map, if I can pull it up, here we go. Yeah, that's our current location and it is the Seaside Hollow Cave. So that's where we were presuming that Manaphy will be once we've done everything with the Pokemon in our party. And here we go, we'll get a little cutscene and it looks like it's all in place now and there's Manaphy awesome and three Fionis as well so you can catch all of these Pokemon yeah and when the battle starts with these Pokemon they have like a whirlpool vortex protecting them around it but you can use either the Pokeball to kind of uh, hit them first to get rid of it and then you can engage in a battle with them when that's when you can obviously throw a pokeball or defeat them if you want or you can throw a pokeball at them as soon as the the vortex is gone from around them catch all of them if you can and um, there is after this quest is finished even if you catch all four of these pokemon uh, Fiona will appear in this cavern a very rare spawn rate and um, post game so as you can see here you want to just throw like a, a glue ball at them it gets rid of the vortex and then you can throw a pokeball or you can throw a pokemon at them at this stage i'm kind of just um i think i've thrown cakes at them but so you can throw any projectile at them just to get rid of the vortex and stun them and that's the idea and then just weaken them uh, level them down and then you can kind of just catch them and go from there and that's the last one and that is it so all finished got all of them and it looks like that is the the quest kind of done here so um you can see pokedex entries here you're going to require these for your pokedex to complete them i think the only pokemon that are accessible in the game that you don't need for the shiny charm are going to be Darkrai and shaman which aren't required uh, to get the shiny charm but you are going to have fiona and manaphy um, and if you battle them obviously a lot during the capture of these then it does add some research points to the um the kind of uh, Pokedex entry so it makes them a little bit easier to kind of level up afterwards and now to get it all ticked off you want to head back to the camp and speak to Professor Lavington and here he'll just explain that you know he you caught the Manaphy and the Fiona and he's just happy that uh, it was a good time and that the the legend the seas legend has been like discovered and you get that reward of three of them because they're worth a lot of money so there we go um you can see there's our, all our three Fiona and the one Manaphy there and that is this quest complete. So friends, I hope you found it useful. I really love the whole request thing. Just to think that there is a huge clue with how to complete this request in a post Pokemon game that, you know, is a remake as well. It was that that detail was added in from the original uh, just to give us a hint of how to fulfill this quest in Pokemon Legends Arceus when it came out and obviously the, the kind of foresight with the, the overquill as well from the quillfish with the long spikes. It's a really cool quest overall and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun doing it as well and hopefully this guide's been a little bit help for you if you haven't got a copy of Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl at least know and understand where the um, the idea for this quest come from. We'll leave it there friends. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, I will see you all for another episode on the channel very soon. So until then take care. Bye bye.